Hi, we're Stan and Rhonda from Over the Hill Adventures, and today we are going to do an install video. We're going to put on the original keyless entry system onto both of our doors. In the past, we had purchased one keyless entry system and really liked it. It was very convenient. We had locked ourselves out of the trailer a couple times and we're like, this is it. So we put it on the one door, but now we've decided for several reasons that uh, we've that have come to our attention, you know, not just convenience, but for safety too, that we're gonna go ahead and go to these locks, the keyless entry locks for both doors, both sets of our doors, and our base storage doors as well. RV Lock reached out to us and asked us if we would test out their RV locks both on our on our doors and on our on our storage compartment doors. And we were excited to be um, working with them and to test this product out. The story of how RV Lock came to be was kind of out of an unfortunate event. That actually turned into a blessing. We also discovered recently by doing some researching that there are the manufacturing companies uh, do key their RVs alike. Not all of them, but most of them key their RVs alike. For the simple fact to allow dealers to be able to show multiple RVs at the same time, the deadbolt lock is a little bit more difficult and those keys are not readily available. Not to mention that they're still out there. After being in law enforcement for 27 years, and recently retired, I was shocked to find out yeah. how easy and accessible these locks are. And I knew then I needed to make a change. And I absolutely recommend everyone else to make a change. You don't have to go to this V keyless entry, but do take time to figure out how to change the locks in your RV. Ron is gonna do the install and she's gonna um, install this and just to show you all you need to install this keyless entry device um, is a screwdriver and that's all you need to do. It says so. 10 minute easy install. Let's see if that applies to me. <laughs> I am mechanically challenged so uh, she'll be fine. This might uh, take 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's give it a try because I mean, I'd like to prove that, you know, I mean, I know there's a lot of women that are traveling on their own and if this is something that is of interest to you and would make you feel more secure, then you can have the confidence in knowing that you can install this on your own. So what we have is a Grand Design Imagine 2500 RL. So this particular one fits our rig. When you go on their website, you can put in the parameters of your rig and then it'll fine tune what product you would need for you. This is RV lock, keyless handles, the original keyless solution. They call it V4 with integrated keypad. Fits most trailers. They're showing campers, bumper poles, fifth wheels, horse trailers, cargo trailers. Okay, let's take a look inside. Comes with instructions and installation instructions. Very simple. Comes with open these first these are the fobs and it's good to know that when you order all of these together they're going to be all key to like so um, that's that meaning that if you ever needed a key for an emergency sake because of a, of a, a battery fail or whatever um, they are all key to like striker plates and hardware Put that out there and now Last but not least, look at that beauty. So it has a lifetime warranty. That is really nice. Which is important. It comes in, what, two pieces here. Mm -hmm. So one goes on one side of the door, one goes on the inner side of the door. Has your keys attached here. So you can also open it with a key. Okay. So and another thing, uh, another good thing to know is that um, if the battery starts to get low, it will notify you with the sequences of beeps. So your batteries are already oh, they're, they're already here. installed. So they're oh, already easy. on the back side of here and they're already oh, installed. Okay. And then you have a switch here that you turn on to program your your fob. Great. So first things first, we got to get the old. 
handle off of the door, correct? That's correct. All right, so screwdriver. A little screwdriver. Is that all I need? That's all you need. All right. All right. Let's go for it. I got the glasses so I can see. And then we're going to take out the four screws that are here. We've always said this is a great project for um, storage time. You know, when you have it in storage and you can get to your trailer and you want to do some upgrades. So when you're ready to roll. All these little things are done and you can enjoy them. Yeah, and we're getting ready to go to the Quartzsite RV show. We got them all out. So then this piece is just gonna come right off. This is the standard door lock that came with the trailer. Ours is a 2021 Grand Design Imagine. Second screw and the plate come together. Mm -hmm. We have that. Now we're gonna go over to this side. To just pop right out. Hey. Well, oh, good. Awesome. There is considerably uh, a weight difference between this and that. Just the durability, durability is incredible. I mean, it's just, that's solid. We need to put this piece through here so we don't Oh, that's gonna have to go through here first, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me get that if I can. We were doing two things. We were making sure the uh, the door lock piece came through there, that this came through the hole. Look how tight. That's good. They we're pretty flush. Yep, flush and tight, that's good. Let's take that out of the way. Keep it close over here. Okay, so on, on this one, you have two that you have to line up. So you have to get this to that line part. up. And you'll see how that These works. two line, have to line up, and yeah. then I have to hook that yeah. on, right? But for Rhonda to be doing this is pretty incredible. What we're going for is this into the red. You see, it's a little half moon in there. That's got to line up. This has got to line up over here. And we got to keep these guys out of the way. So there's kind of a lot going on. Uh, I think I'm into the red. Now test, can you test this a little bit like that? Then you're in like that? Okay. All right, got to hold it up there and get some screws going. I'm not left-handed. The convenience of these we're just closing the door, setting the, the the keyless, you know, the code, and coming home and just putting in a code and hitting unlock. It's not where did the key go? Oh no, the key's inside. We locked up. Also, we have dogs, and we haven't done this yet, but we've considered putting a little note on the. The door saying, you know, dogs inside in case of emergency, please call. And we can give a code out to the manager or, you know, a neighbor we've met or, do I just keep going and make them a little tighter now? Yeah. How's it, um, it's looking good on this side, pretty flush and yep. straight looks, up looks, and down. Looks great. And you gotta be sure, you know, that you just don't over tighten it. Once it's snug, it's good. Over tightening, you can have take take a chance of stripping the threads and you don't want to do that. Yeah, right. All right. Well, How do you feel? It was good. I mean it really wasn't that hard. I was a little shocked that you wanted me to give it a try. It's very trusting. I wasn't sure how I could do, but Gives you a little confidence when you can take on projects like this, you know, and that works, that works. And now, um, you wanna show me how to do the fob? Press that, this is called learn, but you gotta turn it on and press that. So all you did was turn on this button, yeah. off, on. You right. pushed it up. And then there's a, there's, it's called Bob Learn, and you okay. push that button and you know, it'll have a little deep sound. 
and then you turn it on, turn this on and off, and it that's what it does. Now you can actually program this to lock both doors simultaneously. Nice. Which makes it nice. That would be nice. And it, that way, it, it would lock both doors. And then you have you have two that you could use for the compartments, so you can lock the compartments like that also. Oh. So. You so. see how it lights up? It comes with the code one two three four, mm -hmm. but and and when you want to unlock it, you would come up with your code. Hit unlock. Okay, so we gotta hold it down. So you don't have to put the code in just to lock it, but to unlock you do. Now if you wanna get rid of that annoying beeping sound, you hold the number one button for three to five seconds. And that should take care of that. So now we're gonna move on to the bay locks. Yeah. I have heard that these may give you a little bit of grief, but I'm not sure. There you go. So that was the right move just to take off the magnetic plate that actually holds it up. The unboxing of the keyless handle for your storage doors. Nice. Here's the door handle. Just good like look. that. Good look. It's a really good look. And then now I want to place the magnetic thing back. Mm -hmm. We've had a little trouble with our bay doors staying closed while we're traveling. We are having high hopes that this might help keep the door shut too. There's some flex that happens whether or not this is going to resolve it. Yeah, like it's yet that. to be seen. So this comes in two pieces. So first we're going to if you this has got to pass through here. So I think this needs to be broken out, just like that. Okay. We're gonna pass this through here like this. I wanna line up. So what I did is I just put this screw in for a pilot so I could just get these in first. Conveniently, they go in the exact same holes. Okay, so those are in. Now we can take this one out. Gotta attach this to that. That turns that on. Put this back in there like that. Hopefully we'll find the hole. Now see, for, for, for whatever reason, it's not lining up. Mm -hmm. I think what I want to do is try to line this up first. So what we'll do, loosen these up a little bit. Let's see if we can get some movement out of this. I think I feel better about that now. That feels right. A little bit different. Um, more moving parts. Um, and lining those holes up. Feeling it, I'm feeling it. Looks nice. I learned a few lessons. 
Make sure you take that magnet off in order to place that. Now I know I've seen kids kids doing this, so I hope we're doing this right. Nice. The fob. All right. You like that? All right, let's see how that works. It's up against there tight. This is having all of them on the same fob. Oh. We have one more bay door, but it is up against the wall on that side. So when we get ready to pull out next, well, this week, couple more days, we're going camping. We'll Lock. change that. <laughs> Check out, they're all locked. 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 That's pretty nice. Locked. The last thing we need to do is put our code in, which we're not gonna do in front of you, of course, um, and put our own own code in, and uh, and we'll most likely put the same code for every single one of them. Like we mentioned, we did have one keyless entry before, a different brand on the one door, because we have two doors. We did not have them on our bay doors, but it was just such a convenience to come and go and not have that worry anymore. It's nice that we've got them on both doors now. The bay locks, like we said, we had some issues with them flexing, popping open during transit. We've had things fly out unbeknownst to us. We didn't even know they were missing until we went, where's the broom? Where's the trash can? We just thank you so much for joining us and uh, sticking with us while we're doing this install. We wanted to also let you know that if this is something you are interested in doing, RV Lock is offering a special code and it would be OTHA10. It will give you 10% off the purchase of your locks. On their website. On their website. So if you're not sure what you know what to get for your rig they will help you with that process there's phone numbers there's a little quiz i think you can take yeah. and it'll it'll help and, you figure it out and like we said before you don't have to get the these v locks these keyless entry they have mechanical locks also what's important here for safety is get your locks changed also right you guys would love them you're not going to regret this no all right well thanks again and God bless. All right, I'm honored to uh, introduce Cade Harris from RV Lock. Now, this face has never been shown before, and I'd like to say that I'm the first one to show his face. And so we support him, we serve, we partnered with him, we love his locks, and he's got a great story. So you told me yesterday about a story about when you first came here to the Quartzsite RV Show. Man, it's been probably, what, 10, 15 years ago? 12 years ago, let's say 12 years ago. <clears throat> when we first came, it was our brand new first generation of locks. We tried to sell them. We sold just a few is all. People just couldn't get their mind wrapped around the whole keyless thing on an RV. Um, most people's comment was, I got a key, why do I need a remote? Right, this works just fine. Um, we've, over the years, gone from selling just a few at uh, Quartzsite now to selling thousands a month. So, And now... They have revolutionized the RV industry, and now RV Lock is number one. You guys started in 2008, right? Is yeah, that, is that yeah. You? 2008, it was a bad situation and turned into a ph phenomenal situation and a blessing. Yeah, we had somebody that broke into a trailer uh, before we got started, and I would love to meet that guy because he's changed my life for sure and a lot of other people's lives. So you know, and, and that's and, and that's what you all need to understand. Sometimes the good Lord works in, in <laughs> strange true. ways. It was a blessing. And it was, ended it up was being a blessing. a blessing. So right now, you guys, this is RV lock. So this is where we're at. Come see us. Yes.